Yeah, seventh edition was a mistake. All right, one card on the bottom for Steven. We are ready to go. Herman is on the play. Watery Grave. Ponder. Oh, Steven without a play mat seems like a misplay. Lotus pedal to start the game. Here is Grindstone. So both players know what the other is up to as of uh, right now. Grindstone, Painter Servant is the combo. Okay, Force Pitching Psychic Frog on the Grindstone, it turns out. Does not resolve. Okay, Dothy Voidwalker. That will mess with the Goblin Welders and Engineers for now. Kiviuk, thanks for the reso with Prime. Two months, appreciate that. Urza Saga hits the board. This card Urza Saga might be pretty good for Modern Horizons. Basic Island. You get a basic card. All right. Okay. I'm living in fear. Yep. I'm in constant fear. Here we fear. <laughs> How many cards do you have? Three. Three. Um, yeah. I'm in blue. Yeah. Cast you. All right, naming blue. The possibility of red blast, power blast is there. Well, the void walker will attack. Nothing trapped under the void just yet. Or did the grindstone? Wait, did the grindstone? I don't know. I have already lost track of everything. Yeah. This game has been compromised. Yep. Yeah, the Grindstone got forced before the Voidwalker, right? Sounds right. Alright, another watery grave. You'll see these Death Shadows deck do a, decks do a lot of damage to themselves with the watery graves. Trying to bring down that life total, grow the shadows. Brainstorm. I've had a few questions here and there over the years of doing this channel. You know, is the watery graves for budget reasons or something? No, it's, it actually like serves a function in the deck of lowering your life total. <clears throat> All right, so Psychic Frog getting pitched to evoke grief. Let's take a look at the hand. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, Frexian Dragon Engine, and Goblin Welder. So Fable of the Mirror Breaker will be selected. It will get exiled with a Void Counter on it. And that will be marked in the center of the table very nicely. Cheeks Like Whoa, thank you for the sub of Prime. 17 months. Appreciate that. Reanimate Grief, take the Frexian Dragon Engine, and now just a Welder and an unknown card in Steven's hand. Welder, not very good with a Void Walker on the other side of the table. There is a Grindstone in the yard that Void Walker didn't have a chance to eat, though, which is interesting. Goblin Welder hits the board, and so does a Lava Spur Boots. Lava? Lava? Who knows? So Herman has a Fable of the Mirror Breaker and a Frexian Dragon Engine that the Dothy Voidwalker can sack to cast. Wasteland on the Saga, that was a pretty good draw. There was a possibility of finding Grindstone next turn and activating it. Fable of the Mirror Breaker getting cast, sacking the Void Walker. Making a Goblin Shaman. Attack with Grief. That was actually a really good wasteland. 
Steven already in top the top of the deck mode. That's a great furnace. The welder might be able to do it here. These two. Do the thing. And that is the game. The welder did the job. Herman up a game. Yeah, Morlov, absolutely right. Painter has gotten a lot of upgrades in recent years. Urza Saga was a big one. Going back a couple of years further, a big hit was Goblin Engineer, Frexian Dragon Engine in Brothers War, and so on. All right, fetching. I just realized I had, I had the score wrong, my bad. Uh, Steven won game one, so Herman, Herman was on the play. I tricked myself. I put the score wrong, and then I thought uh, Herman actually won. But Herman lost, got grindstoned out of the game one. Painter grindstone combo. Uh, keep control. Pass. <laughs> All right, Soul Guy Lantern. That will be decent. Mox Opal. It is on. Metalcraft is up and running. We did see Herman grief, reanimate grief in game one, so there is a scam package in this deck. But it does not have the Entomb, Atraxa, Archon of Cruelty stuff. This is the Death Shadow deck. But the Soul Guy Lantern is still relevant. Um, we just mentioned reanimate. But there's also the possibility of Merc Tide. All right, let's see what happens. And Herman has also been testing the frog. I believe Herman's list is posted in our Discord server, if you're interested in that. Herman um, continues to uh, dominate at local events with these shadow and tempo decks. All right, so Grief now reveals a hand of double Goblin Engineer, Red Blast, and Snaring Bridge, Painter, and Fable of the Mirror Breaker. And with a Void Walker on the board, whatever will be taken here will be stolen. Potentially. Last time Herman took Fable to the Mirror Breaker, and that ended up uh, being cast later on. All right, taking Fable of the Mirror Breaker once again. With a Void Walker on the board, the Goblin Engineers aren't that scary. In Staring Bridge. Plenty of cards in hand, so not that big of a deal right now. The Painter Servant, we can beat. No Metal Craft at the moment as well, so Mox Opal is shut off. Watery Grave comes in. Another Void Walker. It's pretty good. Good start to this game for Herman. Reanimate Grief. Uh, that's rough. So, right? well, another copy of Fable of the Mirror Breaker, okay. Alright, uh, classic Dolphins bug. Alright, I'll take that one too. Alright, this one gets Exile with two Void counters on it. And then I'm actually gonna... Just kidding, that's not how it works. Alright, so sacking, casting a Fable. It will resolve. Make a Goblin. Alright, I'll pack him up. <laughs> Alright, we're going to game three. Steve Steven has seen enough. I hate this game. All right, looks like two cards going on the bottom. Multify for Steven, who's on the play here for game three. Mountain Pass. And a turn brainstorm. We're not doing He-Man secret lairs. We're not doing that. I don't know anything about the lore, so we're skipping it. Universes Beyond Friends is is pushing even my limits. <laughs> yeah, my deck is also still there. It's just on like one top back in sure. the I'm really easy to please with new magic cards, but Friends is pushing it. It's pushing it for me. 
I might flip out and tweet if they do that. Very, very rare. I mean, no, actually, yeah. Well, actually, it wasn't quite like a flood. All right, trying to reanimate Troll of Casa Doom. Troll of Casa Doom uh, is on the board. And losing a lot of life is Herman, which is what Herman wants, after all. Thanks for letting me yeah. 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 Painter Servant, name Blue. We may see a red blast on a troll in this game. Okay. Yeah, the, the plan was to double these in anyway, so. Yeah. I always forget that the uh, 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 land. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I can't waste me now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Universes beyond Lego would actually make me really excited. Mood conditioners. Yeah. No, that would be insane. Still though, days have to be bad and copper. If I remember. Don't the Void Walker has been a key card in this match so far. The format for like a while. Oh, well, yeah. Steven managed to sneak a grindstone under a Void Walker early in game one. I mean, sort of. It got forced and that ended up working to Steven's benefit. But uh, don't the Void Walker a pain in the butt? Looks like. We're holding a Pyroblast. I can't tell if Herman is holding a Force, but we're going after Voidwalker with the Pyroblast. Dismember Painter in response basically counters the Pyroblast. Red Blast on that. Uh, so that will resolve. Still work out. Yeah. yeah. Then I'll cast your red target there. Sorry, was that not... Oh, someone said, you're, you're right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. So, the, okay, I wasn't even sure what was happening there, but the Dothy Void Walker tried to sack to cast um, Red Blast for a moment, but it was summoning six, so there, there was a little bit of a pause and a rewind. Uh, the Dothy Void Walker successfully blown up by Power Blast. Red Blast is exiled with a Void Counter on it, and Painter Servant attacked. Troll of Khazad Doom still on the board though. Attack number six. six. Yep. Yeah. Takes out another chunk of Steven's life total, puts Steven down to eight. Uh, uh, swamp cycle. Sure. Another swamp cycle. Uh oh. A reanimate would put Herman down to one, which is scary. Might be going too far for her for Herman. But is Herman about to drop some shadows? Okay, here's Merktide Regents, which was st which is still on the watch list for a band, right, everybody? Is it still on the watch list? What's on the watch list? Does anybody know? Someone go to MagicTheGathering.com and find out what's on the watch list. Urza Saga. And here's Brea's Apprentice, a card we see every once in a while. I mean, I actually find it. Like, like like Good old Brea's Apprentice. Every time I see this card, I have to read it again. So you can just like turn one on and them over. I mean, against you, that sucks. Yeah, no. Against a lot of people, that's pretty good. Or like non basic like lands sphere. or mountains. Oh no, it's not like I run any non basic lands besides fiery useless. <laughs> it's not like I. Oh, I can't use mountains for anything. <laughs> okay, two cars back on top from the brainstorm. Polluted Delta. This is a big attack. It's going to be difficult to. Uh, survive without blocking. Chumping the Merktide, taking six, going down to two. There was a there was a one one thopter there. That was the token. Uh, All right, 
passing the turn, Brea's Apprentice will unlock. Two cards in Steven's hand. Steven did multi five in this game. Gonna sack itself to exile a card at the top. First mode, oh. I'm assuming. Yes, to exile the top card of my life. I guess Steven also has to read this card every time. Soul Guide Lantern, it's not very good. Yeah, no worries. Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Herman gets it. GG's. Merktide region, everybody. That card seems busted. Wow. Merktide regent doing it again. Every game we lose is because of Merktide.